So some of the things that, that we can do, uh, video is handled just like regular layers. So we've got video layers in, in Photoshop. You can split clips, uh, you can easily trim clips, you can add transitions, text and other graphics, you can animate text and other graphics, and you won't even believe how easy the animation is in Photoshop. CS6 also lets you add and control audio so we can make it fade in, fade out, we can control the volume. It's really quite incredible. Uh, you can convert video layers into smart objects and run filters on them non-destructively just like it was a regular image layer. You can also add adjustment layers to correct color and lighting. You can use adjustment layers to add creative color effects such as black and whites or tints. You can, uh, like I said, run filters, so you could maybe tint a video with a sepia tone, which is a fancy way of saying brown, and then maybe add a little film grain to it, and you've got a vintage noir video. We're gonna do that in class today together. Uh, adding text is as easy as grabbing the text tool. You've got all of your formatting controls. And if you want to mask video, meaning you want the video to run through a shape or play through a shape, it's as easy as adding a layer mask. It's just like working with image layers for the most part. Uh, exporting video is also easy, and Photoshop includes a slew of file formats to export it into video or in uh, Photoshop image sequence, which is, you can think of that like a, a, a GIF animation. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Let's give you a sneak peek at some of the projects that we're going to be creating here in Photoshop. So I'll go ahead and run the first video that we're going to create together. And don't be afraid because we're going to go over these several times. We're going to build each project at least three times together so that we all get it and we're all on the same page. So let's play that first video that we're going to look at. <laughs> That's fun, huh? <laughs> That's not all. Yeah, a lot of fun, huh? Amazing. All of that was done in Photoshop. better when we play it in Photoshop. <laughs> All right, so let's look at another one. make all this stuff up. <laughs> and this one's got animation in it.
So sorry for the pixelation, don't know why that's happening. But anyway, it's not gonna happen to us over in Photoshop. <laughs> so all of that animation was created right there in Photoshop. All of the fade ins, fade outs, the uh, fading from black into the video, fading at the end of the video back to black, all of that uh, we're going to create right here in Photoshop. So we're going to have an absolute ball. That is so awesome, Lisa. Isn't that fun? It's so exciting. It's amazing, uh, isn't it, what you can create? Yes. <laughs> NWP says it's awesome and makes me want to make a short film. Yeah. <laughs> like this is feeling like it's very attainable already. Yeah, it and is. And did you make those just for? Yeah. That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. I'm excited. Well, and and I, got all of the, I got all of the footage and all of the audio, even the special sound effects, like the, the big uh, cinematic crash, as they call it, uh, from iStock Photo. So there is stock footage out there, and it's just so much fun to play with. All right. So let's go ahead and look. Add a few things here in Photoshop. We're going to talk a little bit about the timeline panel, a little bit about safe areas. Um, there are several ways to get video into Photoshop. Okay, you can use the uh, file open command. You can simply double click or click and drag a video file onto Photoshop's application icon to open it, or you can use Photoshop's presets to create a, uh, a new video document. And that's what we're gonna be doing for the most part here today. The neat thing about letting Photoshop create the video document for you and then you importing your video into it is that you get these handy guides. And I'll go ahead and go full screen here by pressing F a couple of times. Photoshop gives you these guides when you uh, create a new video document, and it's got a slew of sizes that you can pick from depending upon uh, what format, what size, what device you're creating your video for. So just a little bit about the, the areas that those guides mark off. The area in the center that I, I've colored kind of a darker red here, that's your title safe area. So that's the area that's safe to put absolutely anything at all. So anything that you don't want to get chopped off, such as text, important logos, graphics, of course your video, anything like that. The next area that's directly outside of that, the one that's a lighter pink in color, is a safe area for video. Okay, so you don't want to let your text or logo, any kind of branding or anything like that, go outside that darker area. But outside the lighter area, you can have video play there and you're totally fine with that. Now the area that's white, that's around the edges, that's your unsafe area, as opposed to the safe area. This is the unsafe area. That area you can think of as overscan. So depending upon how your video or whom is gonna play back your video, those edges may indeed get cropped off, okay? It's not so much of a problem these days, but overscan uh, used to be a problem. So just be aware that you don't really wanna let anything fall outside the guides to the white area, or it may get, um, it may not show when it's being played back. So just keep that in mind. Just as a general rule, I just keep all the important bits of the title safe area. So it's pretty easy that way. So Photoshop sets these guys up for you automatically when you create a new document using one of its video presets. That doesn't mean you can't put these guides in yourself if you just open a video clip straight into Photoshop, but kind of handy that it does it for you.